So you want to add some music to your iMovie video, but how exactly do you do it? Let's begin. In this video, I will show you actually two methods. I mean, the first one will be on the MacBook, like on the Mac, and the second one will be on the iOS or the iPad OS, you can say now. But this is the iMovie app, you of course have to open it up. One thing that I want to say at the beginning is that I would rather use something like a Premiere Pro, but that is a lot more advanced and for some light editing, the iMovie is a perfect way to go. So let's just focus on the iMovie right now. So make sure you open it up. You can see that I already have it right here. And this is what the project actually looks like. First of all, you have to import some sort of video to make sure that you get started with this. So yeah, this is the video that I have imported. And the basic way how to understand the video editing is by taking a look at the timeline. This is the actual timeline and the, basically the video that you are editing. And it just consists of two main parts which are separated by this line. So from this up are the video layers and down below are the music layers. Of course, basic stuff like you click on this, you select it. And if you click backspace or delete, if you have that key, you will delete it. It's just as simple as that. Now, where exactly will you find that music? First of all, if you are using some sort of service like Epidemic Sound or, or even Artlist, then there is no problem with that. You can download whatever you want and use it in your videos. But if you are using the Artlist or Epidemic, then you probably won't use the iMovie, but something more advanced. But anyways, if you want to use some sort of song that you heard, online or pretty much somewhere else on the radio or something the music that you listen to on your apple music you will probably not be able to do that because everything is copyrighted nowadays even though if you want to use it for like your your own personal use or something that if you don't want to share it online then you won't have a problem with this but if you want to put it somewhere on the instagram or youtube or somewhere else you may have some sort of copyright strike or something because you're not supposed to use that song as long as you don't have the rights to do so but there are so many youtube channels sort of which allow you to use some of their music pretty much all of their music and they are called like no copyright sound or a vlog no copyright music and stuff like that which allow you to simply download anything from their YouTube channel and use it anywhere. You will probably have to put it somewhere in the description, the name of the track or something, but you can use it anywhere you want without getting a copyright strike. So these websites or YouTube channels allow you to download any kind of song you want by copying the URL from that YouTube video and pasting it into some sort of YouTube to MP3 page and you will be able to download that MP3 file and you won't be charged anything, it's free, you can use it. So this is like the point of those YouTube channels or websites. So once you have uh, the music downloaded into your download section or somewhere in your finder, you will be able to simply, simply click on it and drag it to this lower portion of the timeline. Like I said in the beginning, you are, su you are supposed to put it there. So just like that, you make sure you grab it and put it right there so there you go and just like i said you're not able to put it there up top because that is a video layer so it has to be always at the bottom so just like that and you have some sort of controls obviously with this uh, editing software but it's not too much like i say i would recommend you getting something more advanced but for example here you can raise the volume i mean the line in the middle allows you to do it up to 400 percent but that is most of the time too much or just like you would normally you can right click and simply split the clip according to your liking so just like that and now you can separate it you can make it shorter and put this time put this part back together to create one piece you can actually sort of work around it and have or add some sort of effect to it but this is the basic and this is how you add music to your video in the iMovie on your Mac. So once you have it like this, it means that you have like one layer of the audio, but what's important to know is that you have more layers. So if you just want to put one under the other, which means that there will be two songs playing at the same time for this, you are of course able to do it, but this is mostly useful to add some sort of sound effects like you would get, you would put here some sort of beep glitch sound effect or something else 
which would make the better even better than it is right now with that music so you can have multiple layers a stack on top of them so it's definitely a great thing and it works on the iMovie as well. By the way, if you are new here on this channel and if this is your first time coming here and seeing one of my videos, then think about subscribing in order to never miss any videos like this one that would help you create videos, edit them and simply have some better knowledge about your iPhone or iPad or pretty much any other Apple device. So just click that subscribe button and see you guys in the next video. Now let's move on to this, to the iPad actually, and it's a little bit more tricky here because the iOS doesn't have that big of access to the files actually, even though with the iPad OS it's going to be changed, but anyways, if you just want to edit the video, you of course open up the iMovie, you paste or pretty much import some sort of footage or in this case it's just a photo it's a screenshot and if you want to add the music you have to click on this plus icon which you can see in the upper right corner and you can see we have the audio section so you can choose from the music that's already there but it's it wouldn't be that effective because you probably don't want to use some songs which are already pre-installed into the app you just want to use your own ones so if you want to add the music of your own preferences you have to choose it from your music app but if you have or use the apple music or spotify you won't be able to simply search for any kind of song and simply put it there you have to have it physically downloaded in to your music app because other way you will simply not have the access to do so so right now if i just click on the songs and i search for anything what i want i won't get any results so here you can see my music app is completely empty so i would have to simply put some music from uh, like download it from the iTunes or simply put them into my library but uh, like I said that wouldn't be that effective because these songs are not supposed to be used in in the video if you want to publish it and if you want to use some sort of no copyright music like I said you're not able to download it technically on the, the iPad or on the iPhone and you're not able to put it into the music app what you have to do then then you need to have a macbook or a computer nearby and you will simply need to plug it into that and connect it then open up itunes put that song there and simply transfer it to your library on your iphone or ipad so that's a lot more complicated so i would recommend you simply doing this if you have a mac use this one because it's a lot more powerful it just works a lot better you have a lot more access you have more features everything is pretty much working better and of course if you care about the music and obviously you do care about it then it's gonna be simpler for you to add music on your Mac when you compare it to the iOS or the iMovie on that portable devices like the iPhones and iPads then it's just a lot easier to use it on MacBook I mean there is no doubt about it but uh, that would be pretty much it i'm not sure what else i could add if i forgot something then please down below in the comments uh, this is the place where you can let me know what i exactly forgot about it but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you found some value in this one and if you don't want to miss the next uploads and the next videos like this one and if you just want to stay updated then click the subscribe button it's the red one it's free so don't hesitate and see you guys in the next video and of course hit the thumbs up as well because that also helps the channel and the video so keep that in mind see you guys in the next video